beneath Fashion Week, in the beginning of September, there is a backstory. Um, Leandra Medine, is it? That's, yeah, that's yeah right. I got that close. Yeah. This is a fabulous story. You're a couple years out of New School, which Not is the even, most just just a few months. Just I graduated a few months in out of New School. Brian Stutler at, at, at the New York Times is the only equivalency I can think of with TV News or in Media Bistro. A couple years, you invent this thing at one of my favorite schools in the world, uh, the land of great economics. You took journalism. Mm -hmm. How did this get started, Man Repeller? Yeah, well, I started the blog a little bit over a year ago. It was sort of just on the brink of several bad breakups, you know, yeah. sort of the same story you always hear, girl's upset, does something to change it, and then, I, I don't know, the floodgates just sort of opened. Where are the floodgates right now? Is this a money-making proposition? Yeah, I've been really lucky. I haven't had to um, bear the real world, try and find a job. It's become full-time for me. I make substantial money to sustain myself. How do, you, how do you monetize a blog months out of school? I charge for advertising. I take a commission on everything I, I link to on my blog. There, I, I don't have a clothing expense because I'm sent so much clothing. And then there's a lot of brand, man, brand management, a lot of things that I do with other brands that I make money on. So if you mention someone on Man Repeller, you expect to be paid for that? I don't expect it. it it's just started happening. This was never a money-making venture. I think that's the reason I make money, because I do it because I love it. Yeah, well, um, we all do that. Yeah. I don't have a job, in case you didn't know that. Anybody in the control room understand, I don't have a job. Yeah, we neither know do that. I. We're actually going to go for a drink right after this, right? That would be a good idea. I like that. But, but when you look at Man Repeller, where did the name come from? Um, it's the, the whole blog is based on this notion that the trends that women love men hate uh, my friend actually blamed the fact that I was single and I couldn't keep a relationship on the fact that I dress so avant-garde and unusually so I suppose I'm repelling men through my sartorial choices okay well I, I, I can go with that what did you learn in fashion week this week of oh, the swirl I love fashion night out the excitement on the streets what was the single thing you took away tough economy out there booming fashion New York isn't it you know, I'm going to have to say that unfortunately what I took away from Fashion Week is that it shouldn't have coincided with 9-11. Getting places was wildly difficult. Everything was super high stress, but I was very, very pleased with what I saw on the runways in the event that I was able to get to the shows. What are they, what are they, what are they doing or what would you recommend they do for women that don't want to repel men, they want a more conventional look away from what I see in your blog? I don't see why any woman wouldn't want to repel a man, but... <laughs> Just kidding, guys. In the event she does not, um, I would say you just have to stay true to your style because even if your style is avant-garde, if you're if you're happy with how you look, it's going to show. When you when you look at the stores now and the merchandising of fashion, this tough economy, we all know high ends booming, low ends booming, and there's nothing in the middle. Where's the middle for fashion? Away from the advantages you have, or uh, Rebecca Minkoff, who was in here the other day, away from the spirit of New York. What do we do for Middle America in fashion? Well, that's what I think is so great about blogs, you know, the, the access that people have because of the internet, because of computers. And so, you know, they're able to take away what I'm saying from my blog from a girl that's just like them. I'm not a, a big fancy editor. I, I don't have any traditional training other than a couple internships. And so right. there, there's something that all girls can sort of just take from. I was, um, I was lectured, I mean briefed on uh, this appearance by a team of women who adore uh, the energy you bring to this and they say you like bow ties. Where are you on bow ties? I, I do love bow ties. In, fa I, I, in fact, I love you. You brought you brought a bow tie with you. Brought my eyeglasses and my bow tie. Oh my word! That but that's more of a bow well, tie. See, I, well, right. I designed a collection you for a jewelry company. I designed a collection for a jewelry company called Danny Joe, and we did the, the entire thing was menswear inspired because I'm so inspired by menswear. I think the right. entire notion of fashion being so androgynous is so special and unique and great. And so we did things that looked mm -hmm. like you know watches. This is one of them. Right. Collar necklaces, right. bow ties. I am super fascinated by bow ties and these like what you're wearing which I sort of call uh, birth control glasses because they're these unattractive. These are birth control. Yes they are. <laughs> we hope they you are. Right here. Um, what, who are you wearing today? I'm wearing, I'm actually wearing Zara, mm -hmm. a Zara blouse. Right. Hermano Cervino is my jacket, a pair of simple J-brand jeans, and Burberry pour some shoes. Oh, Victor, can you get a yeah. shot? These are gorgeous. Thank you. My I mother know. told me they looked like ships this morning, and my dad asked me you're, if I was joking. 
I'm no, not. No, I, Victor's gone. The, like that Burberry, is that brand happening? I mean, I love uh, their store, yeah. and they've got the, they've price differentiated across the brand, haven't they? They absolutely. Okay, what's your goal for next year? Get build out Man Repeller and My become a grizzled veteran out of school. What's the next thing for Man Repeller? You know, I have to tell you, I I, I didn't I haven't had a goal from the beginning. I've sort of just been rolling with the punches, and whatever happened has been great. I definitely intend to have a book come out in the near future. I'm speaking with a few different publishing houses, so you can expect great. to see me. Very good. Leandra, thank you so I'm speechless. Leandra, <laughs> thank you so much.